Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to take a look at building a Hello World application using the Spring Framework version 4. What we're going to do is go into Spring Initializer, create a new project. Using that Spring Initializer, it'll be a Maven project with just the basic elements of Spring in it. And then we're going to create a Spring Bean that says Hello World to the console. And we're going to get a handle on that Spring Bean from the Spring Context and run the Hello World application. So, so the first thing we need to do is go into IntelliJ. And we're going to go to File, New, project and we're going to create the project from by using the spring initializer so the project sdk is java 1.8 which is what we want and there's a url there for start.spring.io and this is the url if you went to that url in your browser you you get a web application or you could download a new spring boot project to your specifications but intellij is in, integrated with this so we can just use intellij to create the project so i'm going to go in and click next down down the bottom right I'm going to call it Hello World. Maven project is what we want. Packaging of jar, Java 1.8, language Java. I'm going to put in my URL. Version 0 0.0.1 snapshot is fine. Now the package down here, this is the default package that's going to be created in. So I'm going to use the tradition of using the reverse URL of my website. I'm going to click next in the bottom right hand corner. Now these are all the options. I, I do want to use Spring Boot 1.3.0. That was just released recently, just before this video. And these are all the options that we can include for our, our Spring project. So that there's a lot here. I only need Spring. I just need the core of Spring. That's all we need. We don't need any of these options at this point in time. We're just doing a simple hello world. So all I need to do is come down here and click on next. And let me rename this here. So I'm going to call call the project Hello World. I'm just setting up a, a working directory for myself on my file system. Now all I got to do is go down and click on Finish. IntelliJ is warning me that the directory doesn't exist. Do I want to create it? I'm going to say OK to this. Okay, at this point now we have a new IntelliJ project. I'm going to expand this out and show you what Spring Initializer created for us. So in this we have a standard Maven directory structure. So you can see that we have source main slash Java and then our package guru.spring framework. And we have a simple, simple application here. So that this is all default by from Spring, Spring Initializer. And it gave us a sample test. So it's just a, a stub of a JUnit test. And I also want to show you the Maven Palm. So if you're familiar with Maven, what this is doing, this is bringing in the Maven dependencies and it's bringing in the Spring Boot Starter. And let me show you what happens here. I'm going to go over here and show you the dependencies. So the Spring Boot Starter, okay, this is a, a Maven parent Palm and, and he has dependencies of Spring Boot which also has Spring Core. So that, that Spring Core is what we actually want. So that gives us Spring, and the Spring Boot actually gives us Spring Boot. So those are the dependent jars. So by including these dependencies, we're going to get a Spring project for Spring Boot. And it's the, the Spring Starter jar that has dependencies on other jars, and it's going to bring those in. So we can see that it's bringing in a variety of Spring Beans, Spring Context, Spring Expression Language. These are all small Spring projects. And prior to Spring Boot, you as the developer was required or responsible for determining all the dependencies that you needed to include in your project. Now with Spring Boot, the Spring Starters bring in the common dependencies. So it really slims down your, your Maven configuration. So I wanted you to just understand what Spring Boot is doing for us here. So I'm going to close a couple of these down. And what we want to do is let's create a, a new bean. And I'm going to use an annotation here. I'm going to call it component. The at component tells Spring that this is, now the Spring Bean is going to be loaded into the Spring context and it'll be available for our use. So I'm going to add one method to this bean.
So now I have a bean, it just returns a string that says, say hello. So this, this is gonna be our text. Now I'm gonna come in here to the Spring Boot application bean. And this is that, this run actually turns back a context, or application context. Now I'm gonna get that bean. And I'm gonna tell it to get a bean of that hello world type, or hello bean type. So now what this is gonna do is when it runs, we're gonna get the spring context. We're gonna run it, get a hold of the, the context, and then we're gonna ask the context for that bean. And here, let's do a system So what, what we're doing here is we're getting a hold of the hello bean. Okay, so that hello bean is going to come from the context and and run. And we're going to pass that into the system out print line, which will print it out to our console. So now I'm going to run this application by clicking on the arrow in the upper right-hand corner. So this class is annotated as a Spring Boot application. So that's going to invoke Spring Boot to run it. So Spring Boot is actually going to bring up the Spring context for us and it's going to configure the spring context it's going to do a component scan of the package that it's in and below it so it's going to see our hello bean that's annotated as a spring bean at component annotation and then we're going to get a hold of that bean or that bean will be added to the spring context for us because it's a, a component we're going to ask the context for that component and then we're going to say invoke the say hello method from that component so now we can see that our Spring Boot application starting up. We're getting some output to the console here. And we can see down on the console, we have say hello. And that's the message that we had. So down here in the console, we can see the message say hello. And let, let's just recap this real quick. So I created a component, a Spring component. Just a, it's just a regular Java class has a single method on it that returns a string. The string is say hello. And that's our, our message. And now that has been marked as a component and Spring Boot is gonna see that component because it's within the same package. It's doing a component scan on that, that package. So it's gonna detect any beans, any spring beans that are de declared in that package. When we run it, the command to run it returns back the application context. And then on line 12, you can see that the context were asking it to get get a bean and we're passing it in the class name of our hello bean. So this is getting a component by type. So we're gonna to bind to the property hello bean and then we're gonna do a print out to the console and we're just gonna say hello, hello. So whatever that message is. So if I were to come in here just to show you, be since it's a hello world, we can actually say, actually make it a hello world message and now if I run it again, we'll see the message change. Okay, so we ran it again, we changed the message and you can see down at the bottom of the screen, we have hello world. Okay, so this here is a quick example of hello world. I just showed you how to create a spring bean. As we move forward in, in this tutorial series, we're gonna show you how to take that bean and use it for dependency injection. I didn't wanna get into the complexities of using dependency injection. I just wanted to show you how to create a spring component. We asked the spring context for that bean, and then we, we ran a method on that bean to print out a message to our console.